Well, Deborah, doctors say the actual number of cases is much higher than what's officially reported because a lot of people use those home rapid tests and then don't report positive results. And many are wondering if there is an end in sight. The Omicron variant is spreading like wildfire here in Maryland and across the U.S. Dr. Andy Pekaj with the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health says he's hopeful the surge will peak in 10 to 14 days, but it's hard to predict. The real issue is we have a lot more unvaccinated people in this country than what we've seen in other countries that have had Omicron surges. And so that's the real variable that's going to impact when we see a peak and how long this surge lasts. Maryland has registered more than 10,000 cases a day for the past week, hospitalizations at an all-time high. But there's a flip side of so much infection. We may actually be a, at a place in the COVID-19 pandemic where the Omicron variant is really the one that's sort of pushing us over that hurdle of population immunity. He says COVID might transition into a seasonal illness like the flu, and it will continue to mutate. Other variants can emerge, but natural immunity coupled with effective vaccines will likely prevent a major impact. I really think the scenario that's most likely right now is we'll have to deal with mild cases of COVID-19 going forward. The virus will change like seasonal influenza does from year to year. Um, and we may see increases in cases, but we won't be seeing those really large spikes of hospitalizations like we're seeing right now. For those who are vaccinated and not at high risk, Dr. Pekaj says it does seem to be a milder infection, but there are vulnerable populations that we need to protect. So he stresses it's important to limit the spread, but this might ultimately be the first rays of light at the end of the tunnel. When we come out of this surge, we're probably going to be in a very, very good place when it comes to our immunity and being able to fight off future surges. If COVID does turn into a seasonal disease, Dr. Pekosh says they don't know if they will need a booster shot every year like we do for the flu because those mRNA vaccines are so very effective. Reporting live downtown, Kim Dacey, WBAL-TV 11 News.